This is East End Foods, a family company established in 1972. From its humble beginnings in Wolverhampton, the company, run by the Warrer Brothers, developed its operation with import and distribution of lentils, beans, peas, rice and spices. The Warrer Brothers followed their father's advice, who said, We shall only sell food that we would eat ourselves. There will be no compromise. In the early days, all wholesalers sold lentils, rice and spices to the shopkeepers in bags, as imported. The customers had to take away any impurities themselves. However, East End Foods was one of the first importers to start cleaning, grading and destoning way back in 1973 under their own brand, East End. As the directors learned modern techniques, they installed new machines and these machines were updated regularly. In the late 80s, East End concentrated on procurement of their raw materials. In the early 90s, they examined the backward integration processes and found that they were not happy how exporters sourced and shipped products. They bought the produce from the marketplace, depending upon what the customer would be willing to pay, rather than conforming to the quality standards required under European regulations. What can, how can we make it a bit cheaper? Unfortunately, this practice paid its toll some five years ago when the UK food industry was forced to destroy over £150 million pounds worth of stock containing chilli powder imported from India with the illegal Sudan red dye. East End Foods was one of the companies with a clean record because they were already monitoring the crops from farm to plate. They had contract farming with a rigorous monitoring process in place. We buy direct from the farmers in most cases, controlling quality with full traceability. And of course, the farmer gets a better price for his crop. Once the product reaches our facility in West Bromwich, it is tested to check that it conforms to the required specification. The product is then taken into stock and a batch number is allocated, which can be matched up with the supplier in the country of origin. The product is debagged into matcon containers, cleaned, destoned, and color sorted by sophisticated machinery. In the case of spices, we grind them to our customer specifications. The matcons are mounted at the packing stations, where the product is bagged in consumer packs. During the packing process, the state-of-the-art machinery is working to eliminate all the impurities, including any metal that may be present in the product. At the end of the packing line, the metal detectors will isolate any product which may have got through the process. At East End, we process the product to a higher standard than required under the European laws. This is perhaps why 80% of independent retailers prefer to stock the East End brand. East End Pure Butter Ghee Zaika Acha Vada Sacha Easy to spread. 
100% vegetarian with no animal fat. Buy it with your eyes closed, eat it with your eyes closed. East End Margarine. The end user recognizes that East End brand is a premium quality product. I buy East End dolls because they're nice and clean and it saves me time. East End spices are ground in the UK and they're fresh. I came across East End spices at the NEC and the flavour is absolutely gorgeous. When I cook East End basmati rice, every single grain separates beautifully. Our brand is widely advertised on satellite television channels in the UK and Europe. East End products are sold through independence. Every day, over 200 tonnes of East End product are delivered nationally. Our product is also sold through the multiple retailers like Tesco, Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Asda, Morrison's and Summerfield. We believe that the consumer is wise and recognises that Indian food is nutritious, reasonably priced and good value for money. With the popularity of Indian food, there is enormous scope for increasing volume. Indeed, scratch cooking is becoming more popular. The mainstream population now regularly cooks Indian food at home and enjoys the quality that East End presents to them. Very nice, very nice, very, very nice. Lovely, just the same, very nice as well. Lovely, but a bit mild.